Welcome to Holton's Fix It 101. All I can say is I do apologise to a lot of people out there that watch my videos and to my subscribers that I haven't put up any videos for a little while. Um, that was all due to you know really cold weather and it has been really really cold in the workshop here. But that doesn't mean to say that I haven't been in the workshop doing uh, you know jobs and everything else that I needed to get done around the workshop um, because winter time for me is doing workshop jobs, getting things set up in the workshop ready for the summer when I can actually get in here to build things that I need to go and get built. Um, on saying that, I haven't done videos or anything like that, video reviews or for want of, you know better word. Um, but I have been busy in the workshop doing a lot of other things I built as you can see by some of the photographs that I, I'll put up here that uh, I, I built a new cupboard to go underneath uh, my bandsaw, I built a new cupboard to go underneath the uh, my um, uh, upright sander and I've certainly built one f a new one for my, for my thickness planer uh, all with full extension draw slides um, simply because one it gives me a lot more room two they're a lot more mobile around my workshop than I'd be able to pull them out use them put them back and things like that um, I've also been busy as you can quite honestly see you can see over here uh, if you look at any of my previous videos you'll see that I've been I had some horrible blue drawers uh, that were there um, there was a lot of wasted space as well uh, within this lot here um, so I've got rid of those that are horrible blue drawers they were full extension they were good they, they sufficed for what I needed um, but it got to the stage where I needed something better and I knew that I could build something better than what I already had there um, I built those back when I first started being in the workshop on a regular basis and you know I, I was was exactly short but it, it was money was tight um, you know and everything else but now I've you know more experience and everything else has told me that I can build something better and I have I built built this here now um, these are all um, like full extension draw slides as well um, if I can show you here these, these all come out full extension as you can see here um, and they're, they're all they all come out as well um, I well, can't show them full extension because I've got things in the way here at the moment but they are full extension draw slides and, and it gives me a lot more space it goes right underneath the cabinet over there um, so that's taken a little bit of time to get all of that set up and done right I uh, built another uh, little cupboard up there to put some bits and pieces in um, but uh, you know in the next couple of weeks though I will be back on make but i'm doing some videos and i have got some videos from some reviews to do or some tools as well um that i got the evolution circular saw here that um evolution kindly sent me uh to do a a review on um i've had a quick look at it as you can see the box is open um but it is a good saw don't get me wrong um very very good saw but it's not without his issues um, mainly being the dust collection side of things it, it's a little bit you know it, it wants some kind of modification there uh, I will explain that all in due course within the next video that for that um, machine uh, I bought this this uh, vacuum cleaner from uh, Rutland as you can see it's the it's one of their Rutland's um, uh, workshop series. I'll take the cover off of here so you can get a better look at it. I've just kept the cover on because, you know, it, it's a saves the dust and everything else. Because let's face it, in a workshop environment, there's a lot of dust anyway. But um, is, this is one of their little tiny, tiny vacuum cleaners. Uh, 
it's usually about 100 and, is that 130 something pounds or something like 29 or whatever it is I, you have to have a look on their website i'll put a link down below anyway for it um you know it's a good good little vacuum i haven't used it as yet um but that wasn't without his issues as well it it the the actual vacuum on it and everything else is absolutely brilliant it, it, it you know it really does um it will really suck up any debris that you really got on your you know dust or sawdust or whatever you got in your workshop but that's not without his own issues as well uh being one that, that they, they've given you a nice long cord on here it must be what is a, it's a good you know five maybe six meters i think it's five but it, it, on, on there which is brilliant absolutely brilliant it comes with a with a, um, a, you know, a, a socket on the front here um, so you're going to plug in your power tools but that was not the biggest issue for me my biggest issue for me was that the, the, the actual um, vacuum hose that they give you was so short it, you know if you was going to be using a, um, a power tool connected to this then you'll be dragging along the vacuum but I can understand why Rutlands have done it. Done it. I'm not saying that they have done it for that uh, specific reason, but I can see why they've done it because Rutlands actually sell a hose kit um, that you can buy, uh, which is well, obviously the longer hose with a lot more um, attachments and things like that. You know, uh, you know the, the connectors and things like that. So if they was to give you a longer hose on the machine, you wouldn't go out and buy the you wouldn't go out and buy the longer hose so i can see where they're coming from and that their, their marketing is you know that's that's what it's done for but i've got over that i've actually got a longer hose and everything else and i've just taken their connectors apart in, in you know in, in put a new uh connector into into here so I, i've got over that for, for my own reasons the last thing you want to do is exactly the same as a short cord on a, a power tool you know you don't want to be running the, uh, down there along with a sand or a plane or, or a circ saw along a piece of wood and everything else and you're dragging your, your extension lead they've got over that fair enough I, I applaud them for putting a nice long cord on there but the short pipe is uh. but going on say, saying about um, uh, long cords and everything else I looked at quite had a quick look at the circ saw that the, the evolution sent me and it actually does actually come with a nice decent long cord now whether that's evolution actually listening to their to their customers and everything else and getting feedback saying that they, you know we're going to put a long cord on their on their tools now you know I, I've advocated in a lot of my videos for a long long time that come on the, with these manufacturers please put a longer cord on your machine on, on, on your power tools you know I've, I've advocated this for such a long time and they're just listening to the customers now and starting to do it so well done evolution for that but as I said it's not without its own issues and this is certainly not without its own issues it vacuum vacuum pressure and everything else on this absolutely brilliant you know it's got a controller on the side does it absolutely brilliant there is going to be a few more reviews of different things and everything else that i've got i've got a, you know various things that i've accumulated over the winter time um but i've i've yet to you know do what i need to do with them and get all the photographs and everything else of those particular uh, machines up together and everything else to get all sorted out um, there are a lot of other little jobs that I've done within the workshop um, over the over the time that I've you know not been online or, or, or doing any videos but um, I'm sure that I'll be able to catch up a little bit sooner um, but uh, there we go um, I would like to see you a bit you know again soon um, just cop just get me on the usual links and everything else that you you know you usually find me on you know, I'm I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and all the usual, you know, mumbo jumbo. Um, give a like down below. Give us a comment. See what you think. Get you know, any feedback is 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 good for me. Positive, negative, doesn't really matter. You know, at least I know what direction I'm taking with 
with my videos and everything else from you. So uh, I would like to see you again. Bye bye.